Hey Glam Fam, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing some arts and crafts. So Donish and I have decided to take on this huge art project for our living room. So I showed you guys this blank wall we have here in our living room. And um, so it's like kind of an awkward spot. It's between two windows. And so I wanted to hang something here. The thing is that I never found any canvas painting that meant something to me. And if I'm gonna paint something or if I'm gonna hang something in my house, it needs to mean something to me. So while I was like looking stuff up on YouTube to get inspiration and ideas how to DIY canvas paintings, cause mind you, I might be a makeup artist, but I'm not like a painting kind of artist. Like I can't do paintings and stuff. I actually did really badly in art class in college because I'm not like a drawing kind of person like faces I can do but I can't like actually draw on paper or on a canvas so I started looking stuff up on YouTube to get inspiration and I found this video by the Frugal Resinista um, the 3D resin geode so it's like a really nice canvas geode so you use a lot of glitter crushed glass and resin now now, I've never used resin before. I'm not a resin artist. I watched a ton of videos and I figured, I mean, if it goes wrong, I'll just have to scrap the project, but I really wanted to try it out because it looks so much fun, like using all the glitters and glass and stuff. So anyway, we have like this whole thing set up um, here in the dining room. So I got this golden paper for the 3D dip that we're gonna make. I have all this crushed glass. Um, my favorite one that I got, is this from Michaels. I got a bunch of these. It's a blue crushed glass. Okay, so this is our canvas. We're using a 30 by 50 and it's gonna be hung horizontally, not vertically. So what's going on here is we have another small canvas that we're basically gonna make that 3D design in. And Danish has been trying to saw some wood so that he can attach it here because you're supposed to attach it. So everything that we're doing is inspired by that girl. Um, I'll leave her handle down below too. Her name is the Frugal Resinista. And we're, it's probably not gonna be as great as hers, obviously, because this is our first time, but we're hoping for the best. And yeah, so let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so step one, you have to cut your gold sheet or whatever color sheet you use and you have to basically fit it into the smaller canvas and then we're gonna hot glue gun it into that canvas. Oh, why is this? You have to slide it in on the... It's already sticking. Shit. Oh, hold, on. hold on, I'll be right back. Why is this happening for me? Okay, so we're having an issue because um, we need to screw this in and obviously this has to be flipped over when you actually screw it in but Donish is just measuring it to see how it's gonna work so what we're gonna do is now the way she did it is different she put all her crystals in first and then she put it like she screwed it like that after but we're just gonna screw ours first and then put the crystals because I'm worried about the weight of the canvas um, this is a 30 by 50 so all the geodes that I saw on YouTube, they used something that was smaller than a 30 by 50. So I'm worried that the weight of the resin might make it sink in. So we have to screw it and make sure it's secure before we even do anything. And this is what's going to give it a 3D look. So that's what we're attempting to do. This is possibly the most important part. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so Donna's just made a cut, sorry, I wasn't recording, but we like have her video playing in the background so we know exactly what we're doing. It's going to be very interesting because I have no visibility whatsoever to get this thing in there. We put the small canvas behind this big one and there wasn't any wood on the back to screw it into, so we had to take other pieces of wood and add it so that it can connect to this. What if you cut, like, cut this, these jagged pieces and screw this to this? And then find another for that. Can you do that? Man, you need to screw this somehow. <clears throat> Look, that's, it's that's, awesome. That's what I'm saying. So if, if we <laughs> screw this, we don't need this. Hold on, flip it over again. Update, Don is messed up here. And because obviously he was screwing it from the other side, 
the screw came out and into the wood. So now we have to figure out another way to secure this. We have to secure this because the weight of the resin is going to make it sink in anyway. And then the design we're doing is a 3D design, which is already going to look sunken in. So I just want to make sure that it's secure because it's going on a pretty big wall. And I don't want to have any problems later on. These guys are as secure as they can be. This is going to be a little bit like this, but I think we're building windows out here. So <laughs> it actually does look like a window. Yeah, it does. But okay, so I'll now. I'll just flip it and put this on instead. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that could be our third window over there <laughs> instead like, of a yeah. painting. So I'm following like all of her techniques by the T, but as far as the design goes, obviously that's going to be a little bit different because I don't know what I'm doing yet. She's, she's a makeup artist. She's going to do her own design. No, and plus I have so many different glitters and textures that I want to incorporate everything, but I also don't want it to look like, you know, weird. Everybody's videos who I've seen of the 3D Geo designs, they've done like so many different colors and so many different textures and it still looks good. So I think it's going to be fine no matter how much glitter I use. But just for reference, let me show you. This is what we have so far. A lot of this stuff I had oh, already. Be crazy. <laughs> Come on, you guys. You know I'm obsessed with glitter and like, I don't know. I've never used I mean, crushed I can't glass. Live without glitter. I can't live without glitter, seriously. All right, Joe, what you doing? So, <laughs> I'm drawing the design. So either we can do it like this. This is option one, okay? Where this is the hole, okay, the 3D hole. And we're gonna make it dark. The blues are gonna go here. So our color theme is this. We're gonna do blue, silver, gold, and maybe white so the theme of our house is blue and silver but i want to incorporate golds too now so that's why i'm putting gold into this you know i'm not gonna put gold somewhere in the i house. have no other gold anywhere in this part of the house which is shocking yeah because i i ended up using silver because silver looked best with blue but i want to throw in some gold there because i have like touches of gold in some of my decor but i don't have it on the walls yet so i want to put gold okay so option so, one is option this. one is a hypnosis basically <laughs> it's not gonna be exactly like and then that. there's a second hypnosis okay, so right I'm there i'm not done like drawing out the second but you drawing me, ringworms listen okay <laughs> i'm doing the dark blue here so that it falls in okay. and then it's gonna be like gold silver blue and then there's gonna be another glass ring okay do you understand what i'm saying yeah so like there's gonna be like a ring here with glass and then paint 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 glass paint because we have a lot of glass we have this like clear silverish crushed glass we have this blue crushed glass and that blue one right here this and one right here is like probably gold. the best we have gold too did you know that i did not know that we got this i got this from amazon i didn't even know this I'm not and surprised. then we have sand we have white sand i don't know what we're gonna do what are we gonna do with the sand what was the plan for this the is sand? for we're gonna throw in more textures see basically the more textures you use the more it's gonna pop is basically what I gathered from all of the YouTube videos that I've watched to figure out how to do this. So that's what I'm gonna do and then I also have glitter obviously. <laughs> okay, so let me let me just do the other drawing and I'll explain. All right, so let's, let's watch your drawing everybody. Okay, option two is there's a circle in the middle and that's gonna be the dip obviously. And then after that, we're gonna do in like, I don't know, oh shit. Mark on my counter. All right, we're gonna. Already? I wiped it. It's okay. So here's some paint. Here's some paint. This represents gold, silver. Oh yeah, I like this one too. And then the glass would go all along here. Glass, glass. And then maybe we could put some like glass here. Glass, glass. Okay. Option one is pouring in circles, okay? As I showed you guys a whole demo before. Option two is pouring in like these lines, kind of. Obviously, they're not gonna be straight lines. It's gonna be like curved up lines. The dip is still gonna be here, but the glass is gonna go all the way across instead of around. Just 
think I'm asking you mostly. No, well, I, I like the right one. Tell later. Okay, the right. You like the right one? Yeah. Okay, so there's a variation of this. Okay, so there's this, and then there's this. But now, if you choose this, then there's a variation. So listen to the variation. She never makes it easy. Go so ahead. So basically, we're gonna do this entire thing, but it's just gonna we're gonna put glass around it mm -hmm. and like across it. Does that make sense? Yeah. I try so, to explain, but I see it in my head. Okay, so I have a question for you. So. For the circle part, right? Yeah. Um, for the dip area, where yeah, the dip the circle goes, represents right? The dip. Right. So the inside is gonna already have something in, which is gonna be what color? Are we doing that blue? And then the outer rim, are we doing glass? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, cause no, it, it'll look, it'll look, kind of stand is, out. I already colored it in the colors. Okay, so it's gonna be just straight blue. blue the dip. Blue with different, like blue, silver. It's gonna blue. be a mixture. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. All right, you guys, so I got my textures ready. All of these things are from Michael's or from Hobby Lobby. So the resin we're using is by Art Resin, and we're gonna go ahead and start mixing. So we have like all of our materials ready laid out because once you pour the resin in, you only have, I think, 30 minutes to use it. So we have to get our gloves ready and our mask on. And even though this is non-toxic, but just in case, you know. Rest in. And, and in fact, in, in between, when you were talking about the resin, you said, and you know, Is this level? something, something, resin. Oh. Yeah, I think it is. So Here is two gloves for you. Okay. Do you need a mask? A mask? Yeah. I, I, think I don't think we need a mask. I don't think we need a mask, but I think we should. It's open supposed to be. Second, open a window. Open maybe? a window, yeah. And we have the air filter or air purifier. So you're gonna start by mixing half and half, and you're supposed to mix for like three minutes. Like you have to make sure that it, there's no lumps in it, okay? I already poured this blue paint in into this one, and then we have some colors in here and powders that we're gonna use. So I'm gonna get that ready for here the other one. So here's some mica powders. Um, I have copper. So that's going to be one color, gold is going to be one color, and silver is going to be one color. And then where's the alcohol ink? For this blue, because this blue is a little bit too bright, so I'm mixing a little bit of this black. Yeah, I know how she got that paint mixing shit in. <laughs> Just to change the tone a little bit, slightly. I want a little it darker. To, I want it to be like, I don't know, like navy blue almost, or like dark blue. This is a good blue. Let me see. This one. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. Donners, we're getting ahead of ourselves. We first need some resin for this. We have to put the thing in here and then build this. Yeah, so that means so we need to do, do very little first. Yeah. Bottle once you're done pouring. Black for resin, white for hardener. Stir your resin and hardener mixture thoroughly for at least three full minutes. Three full minutes. If you see bubbles forming during this step, one It's hard to work with gloves. Yeah, but we don't have a choice. No, I don't think that this resin is toxic. It says not toxic. There's gonna be resin all over this anyway. I don't know why you're like dark and you're putting it on. Like it's okay. Right, That's sure. what it's for. Like they need to be spaced out, not on top of each other. see how from the side other. here you can see the wood? I don't like that, so we need to... We're gonna, we're gonna do the, the, the diagonal thing with the shutter glasses, remember? Alright. I think I'm gonna dip it and like stick it. This is, this is not gonna work here. Let me know when you have some time real quick. I'm chilling. Me too, but I'm trying to get resin in here properly. You touched me. My bad, bro. You, <laughs> you in the middle too, man. Both of us are working in the same area. No, we're both on opposite sides. We're so messy. We're messy people. Don't worry, guys. When this is over, you know, it'll, it'll be worth it. Hopefully. Inshallah. Guys, the gloves were holding me back. I don't know if this is safe or not, but I'll live. It's my first time using resin. So, we'll second happen. 
How do you like it so far? Do you, me? Do you see my vision? No. Oh, oh yeah. Do you see my vision? Did you just pour resin all yep. on top of that? Yep. Put a little bit of gold again on there. Just a little bit. Like in the middle area. Okay. To give it that gold shine. <laughs> Do you know about that gold shine? Just, yeah, yep. You see what I was talking about? That's what I'm talking about, girl. What else you wearing, but Oh my god, here, here come the other glitters, guys. Do you like a run there? But I want it to be dark too. I want more blue. Can you put more of the blue or how do I use blue glitter? Just use blue glitter on top. It'll be smaller, it won't hide the yeah. No, I do it this dude. That's oh, it, yeah. that's it. Or else you're gonna cover Ooh. Yeah. Girl. <laughs> Yeah, I like this. Stop it, we're doing this again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm putting a lot because once we put another coat of resin on That's top, it. it's gonna, no, the thing is that, remember? She Don't said that it backwards. becomes less sparkly. Are we pouring resin on top? Don't forget because we have a little bit left. Yeah, we're gonna. We gotta, gonna... We gotta do it quick. Oh, it's gonna... How much leaf do you want? Um, just bring the entire sheet. I'm gonna use it. I don't know if we were recording or not, but we put all of the art in here. So we put all the crushed glass and stuff. The only thing is that, see that dip? So I'm gonna put other shards of glass, these shards of glass, like kind of hanging into it. I couldn't do it because we didn't, I didn't do that first. So um, we're probably gonna have to come back and do that after because this is just with resin that's holding all of this stuff. So right now we're just trying to let it set a little bit and then we're gonna continue pouring and doing the rest of this stuff. I want the middle to be dark. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is without resin, I'm just gonna mark the blue where we're gonna pour the blue. And then next time we'll do it again with the resin. Are we going a circle or are we doing that line thing that we were talking about? Did I literally tell you what we're gonna do? No, but and you're going you in a circle, which is why I asked. I was like, what are you, you gonna do? Do a whole you circle. Said we're gonna do both. So yeah, but doing. but you're not gonna do circle line, circle line. You're just do this is our circle, that's enough. Yeah. Now we're gonna do the lines. Do right we need to mix? Yeah. Can you get some more of those? So right now I'm just kind of making colors until I'm happy with this. like all of it into one thing and mix it all up like this little by little isn't gonna work i don't know what happened if the camera was recording or not but this shit is going haywire oh my god i just made a spill but anyway this thing is going haywire really fast because i didn't expect everything to be setting so quickly is this enough i can't see anything oh shit you know that's something good <laughs> like you can't mess with you right now That was a little too much for this corner. It's fine because there was nothing in the corner. Come, come. That whole side is going to be blue now? It's not what I want, it's what's happening. I have no say in this anymore. Yeah, but you, you still have the control to pour it down. I know, but I'm trying to make the colors even at least. Let's look at this corner right here. Push the paper. Push the paper. This is coming along pretty nicely. Good job. You ready? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Give it a couple. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, hey! Alright, there seems to be more here. On this side, but I'm assuming it's because of the resin itself. 
Okay. Just whatever colors you find, pour them somewhere. Like there's a hole right there, right there. You see that? Put this there. I don't know. We're running low on resin now. Silver. Where should I put the silver now? At the top or at the bottom? Do it at the top. Because the proportion of colors is just a little bit here. Oh, okay. You have no doubt this area. Right? Can't have resin on it. Yeah. He could not have resin at all on it. Okay guys, so we had a serious, serious mishap. Number one, if you're ever gonna do resin painting, don't freaking use a blowtorch or whatever the hell use that's called. Use a blow dryer. Use a blow dryer because clearly, um, we use a blow dryer and the design came out much better than what we had versus the heating gun. Another thing that you have to keep in mind is this area right here. When you do the 3D art. Yeah, right, sorry. Yeah. When you do the 3D art, you're gonna have whatever area that you have, it's gonna, sink, it's in. gonna sink in because resin is heavy. So you need to put something in. Initially, we never had anything and as soon as we put cups underneath, the resin started literally pouring out. Yeah. And we were wondering where the hell the, all, all the resin was going. Okay, so. I fixed it. All right. There's the blow dryer working its thing. Abstract. As soon as I wash my hands, you're like that. I just please. I'm like trying to save this. I'm trying to use whatever I have to just make it look nice and glam because now it's not so much like about painting anymore. Not that it ever was. And the sand was a bad idea. It worked here though when I did it here. It worked really well here. You know why I worked very well here? Because all the resin that was in the middle came out. That was all sinking in, it all came out. It didn't move forward because the sand was here. It would have moved forward there. Instead, it got blocked and came back this way. Does that make sense? There's not much, there's not much we could do. We need to redo this tomorrow. The whole thing? No, not the whole thing. I mean, if we add more resin, it's not going to be a problem, right? I hope not. Yes or no? I feel like this is mixing in with the resin. If I use more of this, this is good. This is good. This stuff is good. It could have saved, it saved a lot of that product. Watch, put something. See how it's shattering? Yeah. Alright y'all, so after a very long night, it is, what time is it? 5 a.m. Um, this is where we are right now. We're gonna need to get more resin. I'll give you guys a close up. Yeah. We, we need resin on pretty much the corners because we didn't really do a good job there. We weren't really prepared for it. So this is what the 3D design looks like. And um, the edges, obviously, we're going to paint them a different color. 
But this is what it looks like right now. We're going to have to revisit this later because it's late and we didn't anticipate that the resin would end up like this. So we're going to have to make some adjustments tomorrow. Yeah. <sighs> Alright y'all. Good night. Alright, good night. Peace out y'all. <laughs> I just remembered what you said. <laughs> hey guys. This is day two. So it is... 2 p.m. almost. Almost 2 p.m. Um, we went to sleep at like 5 a.m. No, we didn't. I did. I did? No, you went to sleep at 6. Okay, I went to sleep at 6, and I just went to sleep at... 7.30, Because he had to log into work after, but anyway, so we didn't finish our thing. Like, one coat is done, pretty much, and it hardened, but I'm not happy with some spots, so we're going to go over it again with more resin. Now, the resin that we're using it says that if you're gonna do a second coat, do it within three to five hours. It says that if you wait the full 24 hours for the resin to set, then you're supposed to sand it before you put another coat on, but we're not doing that. Even though I feel like it's fully set, but like I can stick my finger into some spots and it's still good. Hopefully it works and it binds well and it sets properly, but if it doesn't, then I mean, we're screwed but like some of the shattered glass here isn't set into the resin so we have to pour some more resin on top and it's not leveled because we have a lot of textures on our canvas so we're gonna try to fix it make it look better and then I'll show you but this is what it looks like right now sorry about the glare I'm actually really happy with the color so the way that I'm thinking of hanging it is this silver section is gonna be the top and then that gold side will be the bottom also yesterday I ingested some of the mica powder when I was mixing and this morning I woke up with an asthma attack. So if you're doing this at home, make sure you are very careful. It's so messy and honestly, don't even do this at home. If you're a beginner, just buy a resin like project or resin art that you see online because it's too much work. You can always get it made by actual resin artists. I just don't think it's worth the trouble of trying to do it yourself because you don't know how it's going to turn out. And if you mess it up, you wasted all the money that you spent on the materials for the project. So what I would recommend is just get it done. Honestly, get it done. Okay, so I have this gold flake. If you guys watch my makeup videos, you guys have probably seen me use this before on my face. So I'm going to put some in the gold area because we're going to pour some more resin anyway so it'll encapsulate it. I'm using this metallic antique gold color for the next one. Also you guys don't be like me. Wear your gloves. Yesterday I wasn't wearing gloves and my hands were so sticky afterwards and like everything I touched became sticky and it's really hard to get rid of after so wear your gloves while you're doing it. How are we going to clean up the camera? Man I got sticky shit she on the camera. She got all over the, all over the camera. Fine. Both cameras. It's dead now. Bad. It's good enough? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. The color's good. We're silver. We have some more left, so I think we should just do gold and silver now and just kind of mix it up. I'm good with the silver. I think the silver is perfect. Alright, what do we need? These, these okay, areas. Okay, so see how we're going to have to pour resin again somewhere here and there. Just and there. Some. Yeah, because look, it's yeah. it's leveling, but I think that... Just in case. Just in case. Well, I'm going to... Why don't you cover this spot? This... What? With what? Gold? I mean, whatever. Or is that okay to you? I'm okay with that. Okay, so this I'll start... Like that corner for some reason. Okay. It's interesting. What about this corner? This is the corner that's going to be in the top. There's yeah, a line so here. let's pour some resin here and I'll put gold there. Alright, Danish, what's up? What's the saddest on that painting? I'm eating this lemon cookie. What was it called? It's from Magianos. The... It's like a lemon... Um, something uh, something lemon cookie. Yeah. Um... I'm not thinking it's too sweet, but it just tastes like Sprite. I'm no, sprite it's right not now. that it's too sweet. I said it's too lemony. It's not sweet enough. It's too tart. Alright, so this is what our geode looks like right now. So, 
What we're about to do is we're about to paint these corners here because um, if you guys remember, we put up tape when we first started pouring the resin, but then when we had like a meltdown, we had to take the tape off. So that's why some resin fell over. It hasn't been full 24 hours yet, but we're just gonna paint the sides now so we can get it over with and so everything can just, you know, dry down together. It doesn't have to be perfect, which is a good part about it. Yeah, it doesn't. Just needs to be fully coated, that's all. You can also spray paint the sides, like tape it up and then spray paint it. That's what the lady did on YouTube, but I don't have patience for all that. Just make sure you take it to the all the way up to the edge, because that's the part that's going to show. That's going to make it pop. Like this, see? Close it. Close the corner. I need to go in and control the angle. Wait. So you see the little textures that are showing through? That's some of the glass that uh, fell down from the resin, but it's totally fine. I don't mind it. Nobody's going to see it. They're just corners. So funny. It's so funny. Mm -hmm. for this whole thing to dry. Once we're done with that, then we're just gonna use the gold pen leaf thing. Wait, hold up. Danish, why you just come out of the pantry? What you got there? Nothing. Tell me. Nothing. What are you eating? Nothing. Hello? I'm not eating anything. What are you about to eat and why isn't the camera focusing? I gotta wash my hands. My hands are dirty. So we have these leafing pens that we also got from Hobby Lobby. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna add that like bit of detail in the art. So once we use the pens and like draw the lines, it's gonna look a little bit neater. Honestly, I like it like this without the lines, but I feel like the lines will just add a little something. We'll try it in some areas and see how we like it, and then if we like it, we'll continue it. Okay, so that's it for day two. We're gonna come back and show you guys once it's fully dry, and then hopefully we can hang it up once it is dry in like maybe two days. We'll be able to hang it up. I don't know. Until then, it's gonna take over our dining table here. We're gonna have to eat on the counters and we can finally we clean, up clean up a little bit because yeah. there's, yeah, there's like resin and stuff everywhere. So, so far what I've gathered from doing this resin geode art, mind you, this is our first time doing it, but I learned a lot and we'll go over like some tips and tricks if you're doing it for the first time just based off of what I learned because we made a lot of mistakes. Oh and yeah, we did. Oh, I know what they are now, so if I ever did it again, I feel like I'd be more comfortable with it. But um, one thing I'll tell you though for sure is if you have the option, just buy it. Don't do it yourself because it's really messy, it's sticky, yeah. and um, some are toxic. It's, I think, I mean, it's definitely cheaper to do it on your own. Yeah. But it comes with a lot. The stuff that you see at like Z Gallery and all those places that are like, I don't know, $500, $600 are worth the price because it's all in the labor. It takes a lot to make yeah. these. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, I'm happy with it and I'm glad that we made it ourselves because we would never have found like the color combination that we wanted for our living it's room. It's not only we found, when we're allowed here made a combination. <laughs> yeah, because we're really like I want to stay within the color palette on this floor so the color palette for here is supposed to be blue, gold, bronze, silver. Mostly silver and blue and gray. I have yet to find gold in this house. No, there's gray in this room like little gold. accent of gold. Yeah, there's gold. See? We have gold there, we have gold there. Yeah, Our hookah is blue and gold. Oh, like yeah, we have touches true. of gold in Somewhere. here. I'm trying to think of the things like tips and tricks along the way because I feel like I'm gonna forget. Make sure time, you guys. cover like practically if, if specifically if you're doing it on hardwood, uh, make sure you have like 
stuff laid out outside yeah. of the uh, perimeter of where you're doing the video. Yeah, because it'll spill because over. Because it will spill over, yeah. like legit, it will. Um, and it did, we just gotta clean it up. Also, much. if you're using a bunch of colors, um, and you do it on a blank canvas. I kind of wish that we pre-painted our canvas and we didn't leave it white because some of the corners were empty and like I know the spots that were empty and I feel like if we had painted it first, let it dry and then spill the resin on top, it's the same way with mixed colors into the resin. I just feel like it'd come out better. It'd be less of a hassle to cover up the corners and stuff. So next time if I do this, I'm gonna pre-paint the canvas or whatever I do it on. Um, also, make sure you have your little, if you do the 3D thing, make sure you have the whole stones and stuff set before you even start adding because the resin will weigh it down in the middle and then you're going to have a huge mess. Um, what was the third one? Blow dryer. Don't use a freaking oh, yeah. torch. Don't, don't, if yeah. you like this like abstract thing where the colors spill over, use a blow dryer. Don't use a heating torch. We actually um, learned that the hard way. Yeah. Uh, we started with the heating gun. That and shit was useless. It was legit useless so, and it was just a waste. Um, blow dryer is best. Blow dryer literally solved all of our problems last night. Yeah. Like literally. Oh, and don't use sand. The video ah. that I saw, the um, yes. what was her name, the Frugal Resinista, she used white sand. That's what inspired me to use sand too. I went and bought sand just to use it. Bad and idea. It's not a good idea because the resin wasn't moving over the sand. Yeah. Like as soon as I spilled the sand and then I tried to tip the resin over or heat the resin over, it, it wasn't. Stopped. Yeah, it literally, literally it just stopped. stopped. Whatever you have underneath, make sure you put something underneath there as well to support it because. Yeah. The resin essentially just starts going in the middle. Yeah, it's just it's going just down. So we actually had to lift it up. And as soon as we lifted it up, that's where we found all our resin. Like, literally, we were trying to figure out where it was. So. Yeah, so that's all for tips that so far I've so learned far. throughout the project. I'll let you guys know if anything changes by day three or day four, whenever this sets. And yeah, we'll check in with you when it's done. All right, guys. So Hamna now is adding a gold leaf pen basically where it just gives it another 3d effect if you can see it right now we'll show you guys the final product soon enough but the resin is the resin is practically dry at this point it's been over 48 hours so so i discovered that if you mess like. up you can use an alcohol wipe just and just like wipe wipes. it off when your resin so. is already dry so i didn't like a line that i made here so i'm just wiping it off and i'm gonna do it again okay and, and that doesn't damage the resin or anything, right? No, no. Okay. It's not going to damage the resin. Well, I hope not, but so far it hasn't, so... I'm trying not to overdo it because I actually didn't want to put the lines in the first place, but now that I've put the lines, I feel like it's adding more dimension. So I like the lines, but I just don't want to overdo it, so... I'm only, I'm like following the natural colors that I see. I'm not tracing anything. I'm literally just following anything that I see and kind of outlining it. All right, the next color is silver. And just uh, for people who want to see that the alcohol wipe does not affect the resin, you can see that it still has its shine. Yeah. All right, gold is here. Now I'm just about to start the silver from the top right or the bottom left, we don't know yet. Okay, so this is the final product. I've added my lines. I didn't even overdo it with the lines. I only did like five lines on each side. So I did five of the gold and then five of the silver and I just let it naturally flow. Um, so I don't know yet if we're gonna hang it like this with the silver being on the top left and the gold being on the bottom right. I kind of like it this way, but let me just show you what it looks like from the other side. Here's I'm just doing my light guy because video is not doing this justice, but here's what it looks like with the gold on the top left. I found that using alcohol wiped it off if you made any mistakes, but then once it was dry, it was hard to use alcohol. So then I started using just acetone on a cotton ball. So if you make mistakes, you can use that because I changed some lines up throughout the process because at first I wasn't even sure if I wanted to put lines but then I thought that it would make the look, it just make it look a little bit more detailed. So that's why I added them. But 
this is what it looks like. I got ready because we want to take a picture with the painting, but Donna's just over here trying to figure out how we're going to hang this, it. This is right now. So while it's sitting this there, up. It. I, I tried. It's heavy. It's like 20 pounds more than, than what it was. Because of the resin. Yeah. Okay, but since it's sitting here, I think I want to do the gold as the top left and the silver bottom right. And it works out perfectly because I have this shelf here on this side and I have like little decor on it and the inspiration for the colors were like the different textures I have here. So I have like this vase and then I have another vase with like bronze, golds, blues. My couches are blue. Like, come on, guys. This is my theme. So it's hard to tell in the camera, even when you take pictures of it because of the glare, but the glare is only there because of the resin. Obviously it's a um, it's high glass or high it's a high gloss finish, that's what resin is. So um, no matter what you do, how you take pictures with light without light. Actually without light in the sunlight I feel like would be best to take pictures of it, but I really wanted to hang it. So this is our final product. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It looks so good. I'm just gonna admire it for a long time. <laughs> I'm just legit gonna watch TV and just randomly turn around and look at the baby for like a good minute and then turn around again. No, but isn't it so awesome? Like, come on! I can't believe we pulled this off. Alright, guys, that's it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys love our 3D resin geode project. I'm really happy you with how it You guys have no out. idea how it feels. No. The feeling of actually well, making this. I think this, this feels good too. Like, oh, it does. It's so smooth. And then this area is textured because of the glass. But um, when you look closely, you can see where we did that 3D. It's like a hole and it dips in and it looks really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this inspires you guys to do your own at home decor projects because buying this kind of stuff is so expensive. If I bought this from Z Gallery, it would have been like $600. Yeah. And we did it ourselves with all the material and everything that we spent on it. I think it was like 200 or 250. I'd say 250. Uh, 250 give or take. versus yeah. like Six hundred. Not even three hundred. So and, let's just put it that way. It's only yeah. two fifty because of all the material, everything yeah. included. But a lot of it we already had, so we right. didn't spend money on. Right. So like I'm like estimating up. So it was probably about two hundred dollars, really. Like we didn't need to get all of this texture and stuff. But you know, like it's me. I got blue glass, clear glass, glitter, possibly everything shimmers, you can imagine, colors. But you don't need all of that. Um, if we were to do this again, I know now what we need to do. So we're, we're probably we're gonna we probably are going to do this we'll again, do it again for, for the basement, basement but, but it's going to yeah. take some time. I'm really happy with that. I'm definitely not doing this yeah. for the next few months. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, like button. button if you like DIY projects. Let me know in the comment section below, and we'll do more with you guys. We love DIY. Every time I see something, I'm like, I wonder if I can do that myself. So yeah, if you guys enjoy this. Let us know. Subscribe to my channel and we'll see you guys in our next one. Bye. Bye.